If you have a coworker who does not have project installed on his computer, but he creates a list of tasks for you in the Excel program, you can import that Excel file here into project. You can see I've got no task, and before I import the task from that Excel file, let's go ahead and open it up to see what it looks like, to see what we're importing, by coming up here and minimizing this down to the taskbar because on my desktop, in my exercises folder, is my Excel file, the spiffy task list contains all the tasks for us to go ahead and create a Spiffy software training manual because everything we do here at Dreamforce is Spiffy. So let's go ahead and open it up and there we go. Now when it comes to creating this you want to make sure that you have an ID field. You can see up here in the row header we've got the uh, labels for each one of these fields because when you import this in the project it wants to know which task is going to be the first, second, third, fourth and so on. So we've got an ID field and then we have the task name. It just says name. Now, you can call it whatever you want. You can call it stuff. It just doesn't make it any easier for a project to automatically detect that this field needs to go to, in project, the task name field. If it can't detect it, then we have to do what's called mapping. We have to say, well, we want to be able to connect that field or when we import it so it dumps all that data in the name field into the task name field here. Okay, let's go ahead and go back to the Excel file here. So I've got the ID, the name, and then the notes. Now, I left all these other fields blank to let you know that, or to show you, that when you import this, project isn't going to prevent you because you haven't finished filling in everything here. It'll allow you to go ahead and import those fields that you do have something in, okay? How many sheets do I have? One, two, three. The data is on sheet one, not sheet two, not sheet three. It's on sheet one, okay? Keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and close out. Then to go ahead and import that task list from that Excel file, come up here, click on the File tab, go down to Open, and then over in the Navigation pane, I could go to my desktop and then come over here in the main view because on my desktop is my Exercises folder, double click, and there we go. Now by default, it's only going to show me the project files. I want to be able to see, click on the drop down arrow, Excel files, database files, or how about all files. There we go. There's a database, a project file, and there's my Excel file. Spiffy task. Double click opens up the import wizard where it's going to ask us a bunch of questions where we give it answers based upon those answers it's going to import those things that we want imported okay click next now to make sure that those fields that we have in excel dump the data in the correct fields over in project we need to link them up hook them up or map them we're going to create a new map and then if we want to we can save it and then use it later on by selecting use existing maps we don't have to reconnect those fields but for the purpose of this training video, or the sake thereof, let's go ahead and say New Map, and click Next, and keep it simple. And then it says, how do you want to import this as a new project? We already have Project open, so how about if we just append it, the data to the active project, or if we had project that already had data in it, we can merge it. Let's just go ahead and append, and click Next. And then what type of data do you want to import? Well, it's Task. And then for the Excel options, you want to make sure that you include the headers, because if you don't, well, that's going to be tough to be able to say, okay, this field in the Excel file that says name is supposed to go ahead and automatically match up if project can figure it out to the uh, task name field over here in project. So it's important that you have those uh, headers included and click next. And then it says, okay, where's the data in the Excel workbook? Right now it's selected none, so we click on the drop down arrow. And as you recall, we had three sheets and they were named sheet one, two, and three. If I select sheet 2, there's nothing, but if I go back to sheet 1, this is pretty cool because automatically you can see that from Excel, the fields that it saw in Excel, it was able to go ahead and find the fields in project and automatically say that the name is going to go to the name field. Now, even though it says task name, if you hover over this right here, it'll say task name in parentheses name. So it's still able to go ahead and say, okay, it doesn't say task name here, but it is the task name project field. And then duration goes to duration. You can go ahead and scroll down and see everything's been mapped. But the problem is, is that I've got nothing in the duration field, nothing in the start field, so it's not applicable. And then you can see this is the preview. Nothing in the deadline, nothing in resource names. So the only fields that I've got something is notes. And I can scroll back in the preview, and you can see the ID and the name fields. Now, since I don't have anything in those fields, what I can do is I can come up here and scroll up. We've got the ID, we've got the name, we don't have the duration. You can go ahead and select it and click on Delete Row, or just hit the Delete key on the keyboard. We've got Start, Delete, Deadline, Delete, Resource Names, Delete, so we just have those fields. ID, Name, and Notes. Good enough for me. Click Next. 
And then do you want to go ahead and save the map? So after we import this, let's say that Bob comes back to us and says, hey, I've got like 20 more tasks. I'm like, oh, brother, I have to go back through this again and go back and go ahead and add more fields. And oh, see, there you go. Because I went back, it automatically added those fields again. Now I have to come back and go, oh, well, you see, I don't want the uh, duration. Delete, start, delete, delete, delete. I can go ahead and save this. And when I import it again, everything's set up. I can just pull that in and not have to go through all this and remap and select the uh, sheet one and so on. So I'll click next. I'll go ahead and show you how you can save it in the next training video. Let's keep it simple here and click finish. And that's it. All we imported was the task, and it knew that start project from the ID field is supposed to be the first task, second, third, and then we got their notes. Hover over it. Client wants us to start on time. Bob might be our man to write for us. He's the man. And in any case, there's your task, and cool. And of course, it's in auto task mode. That's the way I set my project up here instead of manual mode, okay? And as you recall, it's going to schedule it from the project start date or today's date. Since I haven't set the project start date, it's going to have it on today's date. And then you can go ahead and set that up when the start date actually is going to be maybe next year or next week. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.